Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today I thought we'd talk a little bit about drainage tile. What are some of the benefits of drainage tile? And can we get drainage tile to do something else other than just get water away from us? So let's talk about the benefits of, of drainage tile. I think everybody kind of knows this. You know, if I can drain my soils, I can get in and I can plant a little bit earlier. Uh, could have some improved harvest conditions, not causing compaction, things like that with all the heavy equipment. How about yield? <laughs> yeah, you're not having saturated soils, hopefully being able to increase yields. Better plant stands, less plant stress, fewer plant diseases, and increased land value. Those are just a few of the great things about drainage tile. And we love putting tile in here at this farm. It's shown us some, some great benefits uh, since the installation of that tile. Matter of fact, you look at our top 10 list of things that have made me the most money here at the PTI farm. Let's go back to 2021 after we got some of this tile installed on the, on the research farm here. Look at this, drainage tile, 15, 30 foot, 60 foot, kind of averaged all the, the lateral spacings together, showed up in my top, as, as my number four top ROI product. 2022, just a year ago, rolls around and drainage tile was number five on my top 10 list. And, and you know, these are values anywhere from 160 to about $100 additional revenue per acre. That's why I'm saying I really want to put tile in where we need it because we're seeing some pretty big returns from drainage tile. So the big question of today's Inside PTI episode is, okay, I made the investment of putting tile in to drain my soils, but in order to get the return on investment faster, can I get tile to do something else for me? And so one of the things that I'm trying to do here at the PTI farm is backfeed water in my tile. Can we use the same drainage tile to backfeed irrigation water? Can we allow our soils to wick water up from the tile? And if that answer is, is yes, how narrow do my tile laterals need to be so I don't see this wave in my corn? And uh, those, those are some big questions that we're trying to, to answer here at the PTI Research Farm. So here's what we do. We come in, we put tile in. All right, and we've got some intense tile patterns going on in the field. We've got 30 foot tile spacing. We've even got 15 foot tile spacing here at the farm to analyze this wicking of the soil, the ability of that soil to move water. Now, here's an, an aerial of one of the research trials we have. On the right side of the screen, you'll see my 15 foot laterals. Every 15 foot, we have a three inch red plastic tile. On the left hand side, you're gonna see my 30 foot tile spacing. So again, I mentioned the wave. Think about filling these tile lines up. These, this, this tile is buried 32 inches in depth to the top of the tile. And think about us filling water in that tile and letting, water, letting the soil pull that water up to feed our crop. And so think about that wave that I talked about, you know, that the, if we get these tile laterals too wide, we may not be able to move it across the total width of each lateral. That's why we're evaluating 15 foot and 30 foot laterals. Here's just kind of another aerial picture. You can kind of see how I've got it split up between the 15 foot and the 30s. Now, to do this, I've got a gate structure in, and this gate structure, I can control how high the water table gets in this particular trial. The black pipe you see on the screen, this is where we're bringing the water in, putting it into the tile and kind of shutting the outlet off, if you will. We fill the tile up with water, we let the soil pull the water up, and then it's just a matter of how much water do I want in the soil profile. I can pull the gates to determine the, the water table. If it gets, you know, once it gets high enough, the water's gonna drop over the gate back into the tile, back into our retention pond as the outlet, and then I'll just recycle that water again. It's a pretty neat system, it really is. Here's the sump, I'll show, you, I'll show you a quick little video here. Here's the sump, you see my water lines coming into it, you see the gate structure, you look down inside the pipe, and this is where I've got water flowing, and I've got a float on this. This, this float is kind of like a cattle water, you know, on a water tank. When the water tank gets full, the float rises to the top and shuts the water off. But I can control the amount of water in this. Again, I'm controlling the water table, and I can do that with this float system that we have in this sump. So again, 
back feed, fill that tile up, shut the outlet off so we're not getting rid of any water, and then let that soil draw that water up to use it as a form of irrigation. All right, let's just look at tile alone. When we look at these 15 foot and 30 foot tile patterns. How did they do yield wise this past year in 2022? Did pretty well. Uh, we look at 30 foot pattern tile bringing in additional yield of 14.2 bushel to the acre. And then 15 foot pattern tile cutting those 30s in half, almost 19 bushel yield gains on average. So we are picking up some corn yield um, in these uh, particular trials, just getting water away. Now, let's look at kind of the years to pay back on this, or other, in other words, return on investment. Just last year alone, if I look at the payback with the yield we received along with the commodity price of $6 corn, here's the prices I paid. I paid 850 bucks an acre for my 30 foot tile and my 15 foot tile, I'm at 1160. That's the actual dollars that we wrote a check out for this tile uh, system here at the PTI farm. But if you look at the yield response and, and these variables that I just talked about, that's a 10 year payoff. It's a 10 point, it's actually a 10 year payoff for 30 foot pattern tile, 15 foot comes in at 10.2 years. Now, back feeding water, if I can get this tile, I know what my, my years to payback is just on getting water away, but I'm thinking, okay, if I can let the tile, you know, let me sub irrigate and I can get additional yield on this, will the years to payback actually be lowered? Well, let's look at the yield here. This past year in 2002, now we're, we're just getting up going with this system. I, I feel like I'm still kind of a rookie at this, and so I'm hoping these numbers get better. But I will tell you, I was disappointed in the first year of doing this particular system because in my 15 foot pattern tile spacing, I only got about a seven bushel yield response seven bushel additional yield response by sub irrigating through the tile. Okay, I go to 30 foot tile, tile spacing, widening that gap and my yield response actually got cut in half, three and a half bushel yield responses. And, and again, I saw these numbers and I'm like, I'm disappointed in this. I thought I could do better. However, when we put the numbers together and we, we look at the years to payback, I do feel like I'm chipping away rather nicely at this. I mean, I take a 10.2 payoff on 15 foot pattern tile down to seven and a half years now. I take 30 foot pattern tile of a 10 year payoff down to eight years. If I could figure this system out and get it to work just a little bit better, my goal is with this system is to cut the return on investment in half or the number of years to pay back in half, take it from a 10 year payoff to a five year payoff. Don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, but we're gonna work hard to see if we can get that happen. So today's inside PTI agronomy tip of the day is, you know, tile is a great thing. We've seen some really nice yield responses from, from getting rid of saturated soils, bringing oxygen into the soil structure and, and increasing corn yield but the ability to bring water back in to sub irrigate through tile and let that soil wick or let the tile wick that, that uh, water up through the soil. You know, we're seeing 3% to 1.5% uh, yield increases by being able to do this. And the interesting thing is I'm cutting the years to pay back down on my tile. I'm chipping away r right close to two years. Uh, reduction in your year's payback. So we're going to continue work on this in, in years ahead and really understand how this works. And some of it's also going to depend on when the drought comes in. One thing I really want to take a look at in this year's data as we as we come to harvest that's upon us here, we struggled with, with trying to sub-irrigate this past June. We had the drought of all droughts in June. We were 10.5 inches of rain down, hot temperatures in June, and we needed to irrigate. However, having the water in the tile was too far away from that young plant and that young root system, and we just couldn't feed it. We needed to bypass the sub-irrigation through the tile and concentrate more of on, on our Netafim drip system that's 14 inches below the soil surface, much closer to the root system. So those are the things we're going to look at in the years ahead. That's all the time we have for today's episode. If you've got any questions about anything that we've talked about, shoot me an email at InsidePTI at PrecisionPlanning.com or stop in to your local Precision Planning Premier Dealer and have a conversation. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.